Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about scrunchies. So the other day I was talking to my mom and for some reason scrunchies came up and she was just telling me how they were like trending when she was young and now they're trending again. Obviously you guys have seen them everywhere. And she told me that she knows how to make them without a sewing machine, which is very important because it's gonna be super easy. So she kind of showed me two different methods that are super easy. So today I'm just gonna guide you through it just in case you guys wanted to try it yourself and make your own scrunchies. You're only gonna need two things for each method. And the other good thing about scrunchies is that you can use literally any fabric that you have at home, even like an old t-shirt or an old tablecloth, I don't know. All you gotta do is find some fabric and you can make a scrunchie out of it just like this one. <laughs> All right, for this method, what we're going to do first is cut out our fabric. The measurements that I found that are the best are 16 by 4 inches. You can obviously make them bigger or smaller. This is just what works best for me. Once you're done cutting your fabric, all you're going to need is obviously the fabric, some hair elastics, a glue gun, a glass. It's not necessary, but you might need it. Some safety pins and a hair straightener. You can also do this with a regular iron. I just thought this was way easier. So yeah, so what you do is just grab the edges, you fold them in and you iron them or straighten them just to make sure they're nice and flat. And you're just going to do that on both sides. Now to make your life a little bit easier, what you're going to do is grab the hair elastic, put it around the glass and put all the fabric inside the elastic and fold it down so the two flat edges are touching each other because now we're going to glue them together. You're just going to do that all the way around the edge, making sure you don't put too much glue like I did, <laughs> so it looks nice and clean. So once you're done, what you're going to do with the ends is just fold one of them in. That way it looks nice and clean and the side that's on the inside you're going to put the glue on there and you're just going to glue them together and ta-da you're done super 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 easy way to make a scrunchie and now we're going to do the second method which is actually my favorite it just looks cleaner and what i'm showing you here is basically just the easiest way to make the perfect knot so basically you just wrap the thread around your finger and you just slide it off and then that's it you make a knot you just want to have a knot like this one at the end of your thread that way it doesn't slide off and now we're gonna do the same we did before, just grab our fabric, cut it 16 by 4 inches. And this is what I was talking about, like you can do it without the glass. All you gotta do is wrap the elastic band with the fabric. And make sure the side that you want to see at the end is on the inside. Because then we're going to be turning it inside out and the side that you're seeing right now, you're not gonna see it later. Now we're going to secure everything with safety pins. You don't have to use them if you don't have them, but it's just gonna make things a little bit easier. And now you just start sewing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and then back out and then in, back out, in, back out. And I recommend doing this only like five times and then taking the needle out because then it's gonna be too difficult. And also don't push the needle with your finger. <laughs> if you have one of these little guys, please use them. <laughs> and you're just gonna do the same all the way around the edge. Now, once you get to the end, what you wanna do is secure it. So you're gonna go back and you're gonna go in, out, and then through it. That way you make a knot. And you wanna do that about three times. That way it's nice and secure. Okay. 
Now we're going to turn the fabric inside out like I said before and that beautiful fabric that you chose is gonna show up. And now to finish here, we're kind of gonna do the same we did before and put one in instead of the other. But you wanna fold one of them in, that way it looks nice and clean. And we're just gonna start sewing and the way we're gonna do it this time is just we're gonna put the needle through a little bit of fabric from one side and a little bit of fabric to the other side. I feel like I'm not explaining this right, but you can also see it, so hopefully it's okay for you guys. <laughs> But yeah, so you just want to connect them, so you just keep doing that all the way around, and that's it. Look, you're done. Isn't this so cute? I love it so much. This fabric looks so good for this crunchy. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below letting me know. And also, I am really, really, really trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. So please help me with that. Just share this video with your friends, your family, your neighbor, literally anyone. Please help me with that. I would really appreciate it. And I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye!